All right, everyone. It is the 23rd of December. This is the last virtual Advent calendar entry because the next day is Christmas Eve and you will either be at church or watching church on TV. And so I'm just going to say to you, it has been so good to be along with you during this Advent journey. Every single day we've had a chance during the week to reflect on a few things, a hope and a joy especially. And that is really why we come to Advent. We come to Advent because we're anticipating the good gifts that come with Jesus as our Savior and at his birth. And so that's what gives us hope. And ultimately, it can't get any more joyful than knowing how much Jesus loves us and comes into the world to tell us this and show us this. So here's what I want to show you tonight. I've got the lights kind of turned down in the sanctuary here, but I want to show you my favorite manger scene. Somebody gave this some years ago to me, and I I kind of want to go like this so you can see how it shimmers with the Advent candle light behind it. It's just glass, and it's so simple. Mary and Joseph and the baby right there. It's kind of modern art in a way. But look at how beautiful that is. The hope that comes for me is that this is a symbol that we all recognize and that we all find to be the most powerful thing in the world. And we've put our faith in it. We've put our faith in these people and in the living Christ who was born and and died and rose and lives forever in the spirit and is with us and promises that. And so I just find the beauty of this so enthralling. And I almost want us to just stop for a little bit and just look and think and imagine where the images of Christ and Joseph and Mary hit home to us. And that's just beautiful. And in this holy space of our sanctuary, with candlelight and nighttime and the lights down. There's something just sublime about knowing that God is coming to us and working on our behalf and and even in us and through us. I'm really looking forward to being with you on Thursday, whether virtually or here in person. It's going to be cold, but I'm going to extend the uh, adventurous invitation for you to be here if you can. If not, I'll see you on video. And everyone, I want to wish you the most blessed, hopeful Christmas this year that's possible. It's a different kind of year. And I'll look forward to uh, coming to, uh, to Christmas with much prayer and hope in the power of uh, the Christ of new life for all of us and for our whole world. All right, I don't want to ruin that beautiful, sublime thought, but we also said we were going to share a joy. I just want to know what your least favorite Christmas carol is. I mean, it can be anything, not even a hymn necessarily, but what's your least favorite Christmas carol? If you have somebody in your household to talk about that with, I'd be kind of curious what you come up with. You know, I've got two. Well, actually, I've got one that's a favorite one that's the least favorite. My, My least favorite is grandma got run over by a reindeer. I mean, who thinks of this kind of stuff? My favorite odd one, though, this doesn't fit the least favorite category, is chipmunks roasting on an open fire. (laughs) Look that one up. It's pretty funny. Anyway, everybody, Merry Christmas. Joyous, hope-filled, sublime, serious, loving, wonderful Christmas. All of those to you and your families this year. I will look forward to seeing you at church. Bye until 2021.